Welcome to our California garden. As you can see next to me, things are starting to wake up around here from their summer dormant period. And this plant right next to me is agave shawya, otherwise known as Shaw's agave. It's barely a local native species. It mostly grows in northern Baja, but just, just comes up above the border a little bit. So you can find this thing at Rio National Monument. They've introduced some plants successfully to the Torrey Pines State Reserve. And if you come to the San Diego Botanic Garden, we have them by the hordes. We have dozens, if not hundreds, of this very rare and endangered coastal agave species. It's named after Henry Shaw, who most notably founded the Missouri Botanic Garden. So a little bit of a piece of botanical garden heritage embodied at least in the name of this thing. And as you can see, they're quite ferocious. They have not only armaments along the margin of the leaves, but nasty spines at the tips, which I've mostly clipped off for my own safety. And more important than just the plant's natural history is the fact that this one is about to start blooming. These things can take 20 or 30 years of growth investment before they have enough energy to send up this giant bloom spike, which once it's done blooming, this whole plant right here will actually die. That's one of the most interesting tidbits to share about agaves in general is that when an agave blooms, although it's something pretty riotous and often worth celebrating, it also means that this plant is about to put its last breath into those flowers and hopefully seed before it actually dies. This species does produce pups. If you can see behind, there's some little new rosettes coming up to replace this big blooming mother. But this particular agave species has more to it than just the fact that it's sending out a giant asparagus looking spike. This one, opens up into large blooming branches. And the flowers on this species tend to be brilliant yellow, if not toward a little bit white. They're copious nectar producers. They're just outstandingly beautiful architectural statements in a dry garden. And when it comes to daytime, hummingbirds and bees love these things. If you come out at night, you might even see bats frequenting the flowers. Agaves in general have adapted a lot to providing nectar sources for migrating bats as a way to get pollinators to visit their flowers. So all kinds of interesting stuff related to this particular agave species, agave shawyai. And we actually have several different forms and hybrids related to this one. So if you like spiny things or you just want to see this moment in time bloom spike, Come check it out. It'll be in bloom for the next several weeks.